the Norton 5700 series door operators can be easily converted from a pull to a push application. First, be sure the main power switch on the end cap is in the off position. The reset switch should also be set to off. Start by removing the four screws holding the closer body in place. Carefully remove the closer body from the pinion extension. It's a good idea to hold the pinion extension so it doesn't pull out of place. Turn the closer body around 180 degrees and reinsert on the extension, keeping the flat side of the pinion aligned with the flat side of the extension. It may require some slight adjustments, but should slide fairly easily into place. Secure the closer body to the back plate with the four screws. The next step is to remove the two small magnets from the motor sprocket. A pair of needle nose pliers works well. Just find and remove the magnet from each side of the sprocket. Next, on the upper left corner of the circuit board, find dip switch number one and flip the switch from pull to push operation. At this point, you'll need to activate the closer and have the pinion turn one full rotation. Flip on the power at the end cap and on the reset switch. If it's already installed, press the operation switch to operate the closer. If not, take a small jumper wire and jump between the number one and number two terminals on the connection block. Watch the cog as it turns and stop the operator when it makes one full rotation. Now, replace both magnets into the motor sprocket. Be sure one of the magnets lines up with the reed switch. This sets the closed position. The other, open position magnet should be approximately 180 degrees from the first. To test the open and closed parameters, place the arm on the closer body. Switch on the power and once again activate the operator. The arm should move to a position parallel to the operator. Adjust the magnets as needed to achieve the desired position. The 5700 operator is now ready to use in a push application.